Mike, what's the season going to be like? I'm getting asked that daily. Let's talk about it, okay? I don't think anybody ever knows, even Mother Nature sometimes. We could see this, though. we got a strong Bermuda high setting up currently, okay? And that could be what we're looking at in the middle of the season. I'll show you why here. Uh, Colorado State University came out with their first projections. They're calling for above average 17, 9, and 4. So is the Weather Channel. So is Weather Bell. I can agree with that. Here's why. Water temperatures are already above normal. We have a long-range prediction of lower shear, higher rainfall, and, of course, we're going to be in that neutral La Nina. What does all that mean? Well, last year we were in neutral La Nina. Little activity in the Atlantic, a little bit more in the Gulf. Bigger, high, more storms go west. 2020 was the same, little and a lot. Okay, stronger, high pressure. Now, years of El Nino, very weak, high pressure. A lot of fish storms, very little activity that we saw also in 18, but we still had Idalia, Michael, Florence in those years. So what does La Nina, El Nino, all that mean? Really, it's a little too confusing, honestly. Some years we're supposed to have a lot. We had a little. We're supposed to have a little. We had a lot. Okay, so I don't get too wrapped up in that, except the flow is a little bit more west. Okay, so let's not focus on the number of storms. 2023 had more storms than 24, but everybody thought 23 was a bust season because we only had really idea yet. So it only takes one, remember?